my website right now and download my free course on alternate picking mastery. It contains five essential exercises that will take you to alternate picking mastery faster than you can imagine. And then I've included my method of how to lay out a practice plan in just one to two minutes that will absolutely boost your results like nothing you ever tried before. So go download it right now. It's free. How do you come up with riffs on the spot? How do you improvise your way to riffs? And I can only say one thing, learn rhythm to the highest level. And you know, any music is 50% rhythm and 50% notes. You could divide it up into that anyway, but the 50% rhythm takes you only 5% of how long it takes you to master everything else. And you can practice rhythm anywhere. Uh, walking, you know, sitting, uh, watching TV, whatever. You can always be tapping something as you are. Keep the pulse in your foot. If you can't tap your foot in the floor as you're playing something, then you don't master the rhythm of it. And you need to look into exactly where does that beat fall in relation to the foot. Once you can do that, you know, you can learn a couple of riffs and then you can just change them. And voila, you know, you could take the same note elements, like say, right? Take a thing like that. have to be close. You know, any element that you learn along the way, you can totally transform and combine with something else you learn. So this is a good chance uh, of learning other people's stuff. And if you have the rhythm skills, you can transform that and combine it, and you cannot hear at all where it comes from or where your basic note ideas come. Just a just a, a first position E E minor pentatonic, right, with all the open strings. I'm just playing the scale down. Right? It's just rhythm. Right? <laughs> so learn riffs and then master rhythm. That's it. Then I promise you, you will, your brain will be able to come up with really cool ideas yourself. Subscribe for more free videos. Do it. Do it now. Do it.